So I'm going to tell you my big, big decision making process in un momento. But before you do, my name is Zanya. I'm living in Tanzania, and it would be nice if you could subscribe and comment because it makes me feel like, yeah, okay, I'll make these videos. It's cool, and all the things that I got lined up. I really want to do so if you could support me that way that would be great okay um so moving here so just before i get into my reasons where, where if you've watched my seven months i'm moving my violin video you're going to see the reason in there anyway but just before we get in there i just want to say a couple of things and it's going to be quite a quick video i hope um yeah i just want to say a couple of things about research don't be like me and research yourself out of doing something to where you collect so much information and facts and people's experience that you just you, you're there and you, you're now frozen you're now, you know you you can't make the decision if money allows just move <laughs> if you're ready to move just move okay because there are certain things that you can research and then there's things that you cannot research and nobody can give it to you i could give you information about my experience and how that worked and how this worked and then you could get here and have a completely different experience and feel like what in the nonsense was i talking about you understand what i mean so there's things like you can have a look at the cuisine you can have a look at the language you can have a look at um how safe people feel you can have a look at the investment potential and so on and so forth but it's not until you get on the ground that you're like that works for me or rah no one even is talking about this you understand what i mean case in point yesterday i went to get my driving license and it was a mad thing. Like literally it was, it was, it was crazy how everything is out of order. Not in a, the computer says no type of way, but in a, there's no real organization to how things work in my eyes to what we're used to. You understand what I'm saying? So what happened was just like hordes of people here, hordes of people there, you being sent here, you being sent there. And I'm sure it makes sense to the locals that live and, and that they do that. But to me, when you're, when you're actually now in it, you're like, oh, every time you've got to go into some type of government agency like that, that's what you're gonna experience, you understand? So even though someone will say, how to get your driving license? You take your driving license, you take some pictures, you take it to the office, you get them to, even though there's a process, when you get in that process, it's not how it's listed. It's hot and it's bothered. And yesterday they were like, yeah, that Mazungu, why should she get to go? <laughs> yesterday they weren't feeling me. Um, although there was this really nice set of women there. Like the first time I actually felt connected to the women here. That really looked after me, you know what I mean? Because it was just hordes of men absolutely everywhere, like chucked against the counters and whatever else. And there's supposed to be somewhere where like women can get through, but like you had to get the real feisty women to kind of cut through and say, no, we're women, we're here. We want to be seen outside of all of this, you know what I mean? Anyway, I'm, I'm, kind, of, I'm kind of rambling on, but what I'm trying to say is you, un unless you're, and I do have pictures, I'm just not really sure whether to, Someone might find me and be like, take those pictures down, that like hidden camera and thing. Um, so it's not until you get here and then you realize, also, also, um, it's all done on paper. The two poor women that kept on getting stacks of paper on their desk, just photocopies on top of photocopies. So like the efficiency and stuff like that. Anyway, look, this is what I'm trying to say. Like, it's not really a, it's not, it's not a deal breaker, but it's just like, these are the, 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 the differences. Again, like that, I might be jumping a bit, no particular order, I should have said. If you were born in a country whereby you're used to turning on the light, you're used to getting running water, you're used to everything being stable in that way, and then you come and then electricity cuts out and then you're working with a different temperature where you have to order your water and stuff like that. Again, you're like, ah. Eh. But again, it's not a deal breaker if you're looking for something different. You understand what I mean? Like. I would more say that is what it's about. Um, I've tried to make my environment as pleasing for me and what I'm used to as practically possible because I know that there's some things like, mm -mm, I'm, out, I'm just not gonna do that. You understand what I mean? And especially when you're new to a country, you wanna kinda get to know it a lot more, not a bit more, a lot more, for me anyway, before you just start, yeah, uh, I'm cool now, I'm local, I can do this, I can live in the village or what, what and what and what. So, uh, oh, 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 let me say, 
kids, if you've got children, obviously you're going to want to do research on schools and stuff like that, right? Um, because that's pretty important. But again, it's not until your kid gets into that international school, if that's what you want, right? Which is highly likely that's what you want. Into that international school, are you going to know whether your child is happy or not? You know what I mean? So there's so much that you can do by yourself in the country, in your country of origin, that until you get, until you get to where you want to be, that you're going to see it, that you're going to really experience the little intricacies, intricacies, you know what I mean? Cultural customs and stuff like that. Can you live truly expressive in a country that is, that is a Muslim country and you're not? You know what I mean? Can you truly be you? And that's not about whether you want uh, batty riders or what and what and what. That's just like when I want to do my thing, when I just want to be who I am in full expression. Um, is it deemed appropriate? <clears throat> and even though it might be or whatever, do you feel comfortable or, or stared at or looked at or is that another fight that you want to do type of thing you understand what I mean and <clears throat> again like I say when you get here when you when people talk about oh the people are really friendly yeah were they on holiday when they were talking about the people were the people that were saying this were they on holiday or did they actually live here you understand what I'm saying um and then there's things that you're not that are not necessarily talked talked about, like the level of respect um, from some of the children when they walk past you and stuff like that. Um, how you're greeting different groups of people. Has my camera gone completely dark because the sun's gone? Um, how you're greeting different groups of people. Like there's some things that you're really gonna enjoy about where you are, and then there's some things just like, oh, did I do enough research? And I say, you couldn't have done that pieces of research from where you are. You understand what I mean? So. Again, if money allows, you kind of have to touch base with where you want to be. Opportunity, what are, you, what are you looking for? Another thing, I think, so I don't babble on too much. And if there's anything really specific that you want me to say, specific, 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 because I'll, I'll just babble on, um, then drop, drop, drop me a message in the comments and stuff like that. But um, another thing that I wanted to say, which is fading, it's fading. Oh. Community um, can be really important because you are going to have bouts of loneliness unless you're moving with your entire family. I'm here by myself. Your community of people, who are your people in terms of who are you going to share who you are with here? Because there's one thing when you're with the locals. Yeah, there's one thing when you're with the locals. But again, if you don't know the language, you're not really going to get a full insight into who the people are. And they're not going to get a full insight into who you are. That's part of the, the process. That's part of the learning process. And you're never going to know that until you get in it, until you start doing it, right? But sometimes you just want to be able to have an intelligent conversation about something other than you come from the place of Bob Marley. <laughs> no, not really. They, they ain't done me like that. But... Where are you from? Jamaica. Okay, yeah, same, same. Um, oh, nice having you. You want more and you are not necessarily going to get that. You understand what I mean? So it's quite important, unless it's not important for you. You understand what I mean? I'm, 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 I'm saying this to try and give like a balance for you, not to sit on the fence um, of what your experience could possibly be right um yeah so sometimes you just want to have that kind of intellectual conversation and um a lot of the times for me how they how they may question you you'll find yourself teaching teaching about who you are and your blackness and your experience of being black in your origins you understand what i mean because there's still there's still this uh mindset or there's still this understanding that you're just here and rich and your life was absolutely perfect. Do you understand what I mean? Which is just really all relative. <laughs> um, so yeah, so there's stuff that you're going to get. So when you first come, you might be like excited and going off the back of what people have said, but you might come and, and it just feel really quite flat. The, 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 all these expect maybe to get rid of expectations other than I want to see something new. I'm ready for something different. I want to touch my feet on a land, you know, that's rhythmic. <laughs> That's exotic. <laughs> no, I want to, you know, I want to be here. I, I feel like I want to be here. Um,
again with your expectations it's like oh I'm returning home I'm returning home but I mean you can be in the market like I was yes I'm always in the market right you can be in the market like I was yesterday and it's not like everyone's walking down the street saying oh my god welcome home welcome home it's like what do you need what do you want what do you need no one's you're, you're the first thing that asks you where do you come from you understand and so that takes a different set of people that you're working with to understand who you are and the journey of melanated people and blah 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 um, yeah, so that's, that's kind of, that's kind of, that's kind of it in terms of me kind of speaking to your expectations, I suppose that would be. Nobody ever asked me, but yeah, here I am. Um, and so why did I choose here? I never chose here. Here chose me. No, um, I, I, I didn't choose here in actual fact. Um, what happened is I came for my birthday, 28 days I just felt connected I just felt connected to here a couple of opportunities opened up and so I stayed um I stayed to the point of one of my stays actually where I overstayed and they were like yeah get out in 24 hours or we're gonna charge you but um yeah so I just stayed um what I will say is it does feel slightly different this time around because you have more know-how of how things are um there's some aspects that feel like yeah I'm really getting to know and then there's some aspects that you really feel kind of I'm still this I'm still a stranger in it all like what the hell am I doing here let me just pack up my things and go and do what I know you understand what I mean which is why I was kind of talking about community and you know getting people that can understand you and stuff like that um one more important thing before I go if you've lasted this long if you come you don't have to stay you know and it's not to go back it's to find somewhere else I do believe there's somewhere on this continent for you that you will go and be like oh no nah, I found my place I love the peace here, so if I pop over to Dar, but I love the peace of coming back here. Um, but I can't guarantee you that I'm just like, yeah, this is it for absolutely ever. I kind of, this is my base, and I'm going to go and explore other country, other African countries from here. Um, and you never know, I might find somewhere I'm just like, okay, this feels, yeah, this feels, this feels better. Um, but until I, so for now, I'm just kind of. Here, I've built here. I've got the builders now that just started two days ago and building the, the other two properties. So I'll have three properties to rent. Hit me up. Um, not yet though. I'm gonna rent out this one, but that would mean I live in the village again. I'm not doing that. Um, anyway, that's it. That was my reason. I didn't have a big spreadsheet and decide I'm definitely staying here. It was just like, oh my God, it happened. Opportunity opened up. I took it. I've always wanted something different um and so here i am anyway if you got to the end thank you so much for watching if you have any more specific questions hit me up in the comments um subscribe like so i can make more videos i will lock off the camera because you know i ain't really interested but um yeah i will speak to you in the next video